week five of the Big 12. All 10, play, 10 teams are playing this week, and all 10 teams are playing conference games. So, not like last week where we had Iowa State and Oklahoma playing non-conference games, but this week everyone's playing a conference game. So, let's just jump right into it. Oklahoma State plays at Kansas. I don't think I have to explain this one. Oklahoma State by a lot. Um, 48-220. Yeah. West Virginia at Texas Tech. This will be an interesting game. Both teams have some pretty high-powered offenses. Uh, West Virginia got Heisman hopeful Will Greer and the receiver who's really good, David Sills. They got that connection. And then you got Texas Tech, who's got a freshman quarterback who's surprised everyone, Alan Bowman. And they found a rush game, running game last week. They had a uh, running back go, go over 100 yards. They had three guys go over 50 or 60 yards. So if Texas Tech has both those aspects that they can attack with, I think that's a little bit better. So if they can use that to their advantage, I think that will help them a ton. Uh, last week, I remember I said, man, I don't think Texas Tech has a good enough defense. I think Oklahoma State's going to win. But this week, or last week, they showed that they had a pretty solid defense. They only allowed Oklahoma State to score 17 points in Oklahoma State. And this is... This is offense for West Virginia is pretty dang good. And it's going to be a real test for the Texas Tech defense. It's in Lubbock. I got to go with Texas Tech. I think they pull off the upset. And I think they win this thing. I think it's going to be high scoring. I think they win it 45-35. to 35. And the high scoring shootout. Bowman leads them to victory. Next up, Baylor at Oklahoma. Baylor's not back. Don't worry. Oklahoma's going to win this thing. I got them winning it 49-24. Uh, the offense for Baylor will put up some points, but it's hard to stop Kyler Murray in that offense. But he might not start, I just heard, on college game day because he was late to some meeting or something. Whatever that means. Um, darn. Uh if it's anything like last year's punishment for Mayfield, he'll just sit out one possession and then come back. So it's fine. They're fine. Texas at Kansas State. Texas has had terrible luck at K-State. They haven't won there since 2002. Uh, I think it's been six game, five or six games there that they haven't won. And, you know, at the beginning of the season, I said K-State just because Texas struggles there. But the way K-State's played the season – it would not be a smart pick to pick K-State. In Texas, they haven't done terrible this year, so it wouldn't be idiotic to pick them. So I'm going to go with Texas. I think the defense stops the run that K-State has. Uh, I think they stopped Delton, unlike they did last year, where they allowed 34 points, even though that was a double overtime game. But still, that's a lot of points. So I think they do better at stopping that. They don't have often. Texas doesn't have an offense coordinator, Tim Beck. He has. He's in the hospital with an infection. But I think Texas is just a better team, and you know they finally win at K State. I think they win it, 31 to 14. 31 14. So yeah. the only night game we have for the Big Twelve this week is Iowa State at TCU. Iowa State is still without quarterback Kyle Kemp. Uh, so Zeb Nolan is still the starter. For TCU, they've come off two consecutive losses to Ohio State and Texas. They've turned the ball over a lot, which is bad. But Gary Patterson said Sean Robinson will still be the starting quarterback despite his struggles in the past couple games. Um, like, cause he did get pulled at the end of the Texas game, and you know, cause he wasn't playing good, so gotta try something else to score. But he will still be starting today. He will be playing. It's at TCU. I think that's the advantage to TCU. I think they're able to stop Iowa State on the defensive end. I think the offense scores. I don't think it'll be a high-scoring game or anything, but I think TCU wins this thing. I think they win it 24-14. Uh, so, yeah, for the only night game in the Big 12, Iowa State TCU. But, yeah, that's all I have for today. Well, for now, I'm going to do my Bank of Aroval or whatever you want to call it. 400, 109 lap, whatever it's called, uh, preview. I'm going to do that tonight. I uh, hope you guys enjoy that, man. That's going to be a fun one to watch and predict. But 
that's all I have for today, or for now. I keep saying today, but you get my point. I'll make that tonight. Uh, got a video right here. Yeah, you should watch it. Leave a like on this video and this one. Same with this one. If you would like to subscribe to the channel, click on my face. That'd be awesome. Make me a very happy person if you just click on my face. Thank you for watching.